Um, yeah, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about that I think about a lot of times is that, uh, the place where I work at is, you know, um, uh, has a lot of, uh, challenges, and, um, has a lot of things, it's a fast-paced environment, it's a lot of, uh, things going on at any given time, but, uh, I think, you know, with some of the things I've experienced in the past year of working at the place I work work at now, um, been working there, um, you know, since uh, March of last year, and uh, I've came across some really nice people that uh, that I've worked with. And some really nice people that I'm currently um, still working with that I met uh, when I first um, got hired in. Um, that uh, uh, I've been able to talk to uh, that has really, like, you know, helped me feel better about my days coming to uh, work and... Um, I want to, you know, say that uh, I've met uh, a lot of nice people there, and I've also, you know, talked to them about things that, are, that um, you know, that um, really, that I, as, as other people say, like, well, okay, you should have talked to somebody else about that, that would understand more, quote unquote. Um, there was an ex an example where I uh, talked to um, a lady last year that um, worked at this particular store um, that now works at a South Side store and uh, on 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 my side of town and um, I told her about you know that. Just something inside me just told her, told me to just, you know, talk to her about this uh, particular problem I was having. I just kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it, and thought like, well, you know, she seems to be a compassionate individual, seems to be very kind, and kind. Um, just something told me about how she's kind to others, and that um, uh, she would understand about my pain and stuff, my physical pain at that time. Um, I was dealing with a, uh, what would have been considered like edemia, uh, edemia or whatever that causes, uh, your legs to swell up when you have too much, uh, salt in your system and you have water retention that causes your legs to swell up and causes, uh, pain in your legs and your pain in your knees and, um, stuff like that because at that time I was about... 280, no, 380 pounds. I was near pushing nearly 400 pounds at that time I started. And um, I had a lot of uh, water retention going on and uh, had a lot of pain in my legs and my knees and in my lower ankle too, um, both my ankles. Uh, and I told her, I said, you know, um, I'm, I got a lot of pain, in, I, I said to her, I, I got a lot of pain in my legs and in my knees. My legs and stuff are hurting really bad, and my knees are hurting really bad, and I'm tired all the time. And, um, her re reaction was a very compassionate response, you know, um, Come to find out, doing research about her on Facebook and and some other things, that it was a good thing that I talked to her about it and and told her about how I was feeling compared to somebody else. And I realized that that voice that was telling me to go ahead and talk to her about it just kept nudging me to do so. And I come to find out why because that she used to be a uh, CNA at um, a couple of different. Uh, nursing homes and stuff and so the reality is to when you're working in a nursing home 
you know, you're going to see patients and see people you're going to be talking to and, you know, uh, changing their bed sheets and stuff for them and things like that that, you know, have their legs swelled up really bad and they're in a lot of pain in their legs. And so that, you know, really, you know, inspired me to understand that there's a lot of kind people that work at, you know, in the environment that I work in. Um, there's also been times where, you know, dealing with my health problems and stuff about being tired all the time and having, dealing with my thyroid issues that I've been dealing with and been treating with, uh, just, uh, uh, over-the-counter remedies and stuff like that because I just don't have time to really go to the doctor and stuff like that. Um, and, uh. Just haven't had a chance to really go and get, you know, proper medical treatment and stuff. But, um, I think that those issues there could be cause, cause my, my depression and where I'm sad all the time. I'm depressed and I'm tired all the time. And, uh, uh there's times where I just feel so depressed I just don't want to go to work and, I don't really feel enthusiastic about work and I just don't really feel like that my life is moving in the right direction where I really, you know, want it to go or really where I think I sh it should go. Um, maybe it's something that's not meant for me to uh, do anything right now other than what I'm doing. Uh, working out, working out, you know, and... Um, uh, I talk about how depressed I am to some of the people I I work with. I mean, some of the people, not all of them. Um, there was one time where I was like 2 a.m. and I was uh, working the grill area and I was talking to the sandwich maker and I told him I said, you know, I'm 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 nothing but a loser. I'm tired all the time. I hate my life. I'm stupid and I'm 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 worthless and I'm a loser. And he said like, "No, Leon, you're not a loser. You know, uh people here really care about you." And so, you know, I thought about it and I was like, "Yeah, people do really care about me." And um you know, cuz it brings me back to what I was talking about earlier that, you know, she didn't really know me very well at that time, but I was talking to her about some serious, you know, um, crap that she had experienced dealing with when she worked at the nursing home. Um, she tried to understand about, like, why I do the things I do, and uh, it's just, well, what happens when you're depressed, you know, and you're tired, and, um, just things like that, and, um, you know, and... Uh, it's, it's really cool, you know, that I have a lot of wonderful people in my life, you know, that I work with, you know, that, um, you know, really understand about, like, you know, how depressed I can get, and about, that it takes a lot of courage every day just to get up and do the right thing, and that it takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage you know, to get up and come to work every day and work 40 hours a week when, you know, the easiest thing to do when you feel like, you know, that the easiest thing you can do is just to go along with whatever you feel like doing, which is nothing. You don't feel like doing nothing. You don't feel like getting up and putting your clothes on or first taking a shower, you know, and drying off and then Ted putting your clothes on and then putting your shoes on and driving to and to work and you know those are the things that a lot of people you know do but they don't understand that when you're severely depressed like I am that those things become a, an extreme challenge you know um the simple little things like that become an, an extreme challenge because first off um, you know, I don't really feel excited, you know, about what I'm doing. Um, but I try to make myself feel pumped up and excited about what I do. 
and I feel like you know sometimes it um, once I get there once I overcome all those negative feelings and thoughts that once I get there it's just like electricity goes off like I see the people and that's what really ignites that ignites me and makes me happy is seeing the people there and because and being in the environment is what makes me happy but getting enough courage and enough energy going prior to that and and you know getting things going is is what's tough it's what the biggest battle is for me is getting started it's hard getting started and so you know, it's just something I, you know, have to think about. And I just, you know, want to say, you know, that I've met a lot of wonderful people there. And, um, you know, they're really caring and compassionate. Whenever I talk to them about some serious stuff, about being sad and depressed and uh, being in a lot of pain and, you know, uh, feeling like nobody cares about me, um, feeling like, you know, that that things are just stupid in life and I'm not moving in the right direction and I'm not going anywhere and I'm not doing doing what I need to do to make things better that's in where I feel like I'm hurting all the time physically and mentally and yet um, you know I just feel like a loser and and you know and when I feel like that you know when I reach out and I talk to people such as like some of the caring people that you know I work with that it really you know makes me feel a little bit better than what I did when I you know started having the thoughts you know I'm just gonna wrap that up so that the video doesn't be so long but yeah you know, I just want you know let people know that they're appreciated you know